In the early hours of November 10th, construction crews for the new Mississippi River Bridge started a major concrete pour for the foundation of a river tower on the Illinois side of the Mississippi River. This 18-hour concrete pour placed more than 6 million pounds of concrete on the Mississippi River floor. During the 18-hour operation, crews poured nearly 200 cubic yards of concrete every hour. The concrete poured on November 10th created what is called a seal course, a 12-foot layer of concrete on the riverbed that keeps water from seeping in under the bottom of the cofferdam. This concrete layer also provides a flat surface for the construction crews to build the foundation for one of the two river towers that will hold up the main span of the Mississippi River Bridge. To get a constant flow of concrete between the Illinois bank and the riverbed, crews unloaded a steady stream of concrete trucks from local concrete plants. They would unload the concrete from one truck onto a nearby pump truck while a second concrete truck pulled into position and prepared to offload its cargo. Then, the pump trucks pushed a steady supply of concrete along a walkway from the riverbank to a steel structure known as a coffer dam. The coffer dam will protect workers while they construct the bridge foundations on the Mississippi River bed. Crews monitored the level of concrete on the river bottom by using weighted tape measures. As new concrete was pumped to the river bed, the mouth of the pump was placed under concrete placed earlier that day. This pushed the older concrete to the top of the pour and kept extra water and other materials out of the newly placed concrete. By measuring the height of the concrete, the crews knew how close they were to completing the work and could ensure that the concrete remained level and at the correct height during the entire pour. While crews were pouring concrete, other crew members had to pump out water currently inside the coffer dam. Also, while the pour was going on, other crew members were working on finishing the dam, placing braces, and welding portions of the bridge's structural steel into the foundations. With the completion of the 18-hour concrete pour, the bridge tower on the Illinois side has a firm foundation. Crews will work through the winter and next spring to get this tower and a similar one on the Missouri side, above the rushing waters of the mighty Mississippi.